Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Welcome back Intuitive Minds. I just wanted to give a sneak peek of my ebook that I created based on the multiplication videos or the times table videos that had such a great reception. And because of that reception, because of all the comments I received, because of all the thanks and all the wonderful messages I received, I decided to create an interactive animated audio ebook, which is very unique and, and it cannot be found anywhere else. I haven't seen any other book like this because it works more like an app. So the good thing or the great thing about this is, yes, you might see a lot of the content in this ebook you will see on this channel in the form of videos, but in the book, you won't require an internet connection if you download it onto your phone or your tablet or your Apple Mac laptop or Apple Mac desktop, then you won't need an internet connection to use it. That's one of the main benefits of this ebook. I just wanted to give a sneak peek into how to use this ebook, what it's like and what it's about. And if you do like it, then you can check out the full version. I'll leave the link in the description box below, but let's go and take a look. Now, to make sure that this book works properly, you must ensure that you are using the correct e-reader because that allows the book to actually function. So if you have an Apple product like a Apple phone, like an Apple iPhone or an iPad, or a MacBook Pro or an Apple laptop or a desktop, the best e-reader to allow this book to work properly is Apple Books. That is the best app that will allow this book to work to all its glory. If you have an Android device like an Android phone or an Android tablet, then the best app to use this book is called Reasily and it's an EPUB reader. So make sure that this is downloaded first before you download the book because otherwise the book won't work. You can usually find Apple Books already pre-installed on Apple devices, but if it's not there, just go to the App Store and download Apple Books. For Android devices such as phones and tablets, you can download the Reasily app from the Google Play Store, so make sure to download that first. Okay, so now let's take a look at how the ebook works. So when you first download the book, you'll be approached with this cover page. The title of the book is called one minute times tables, what they don't teach you in school. And this is part of the lightning maths series. I call it lightning maths because of the techniques and the methods involved, which helps you to get the results in lightning speed, hence the name. And here's our mascot. His name is Intu. He's the light bulb and he will help you along the journey of learning all the times tables. And as you can see, it says, learn all the times tables from one to 100 in minutes. And that literally is the case. So in this book, you'll be exploring methods that are not normally taught in schools. And as mentioned before, this is an interactive book. So you have to interact with it in order to progress. I am currently using Apple Books to show how this will work and this will appear. And on the bottom right, you will see an arrow. If you click on that, that will go to the next page. And you can see a little animation there of the title again. And here's just the legal notice and the disclaimer. At the bottom, you have a right arrow and a left arrow. The left arrow goes back. So we can go back to our title page if we wanted to. And then the right arrow just goes forward. So if we go forward once again, click forward and you'll see we've come to our contents page. And here are all the headings of all the chapters that will appear in the book. Each of these headings are clickable. So you can click on each of these to get you to where you want to go. So in the introduction, you will have the one times table and the two times table followed by a test, followed by a little summary of what they don't teach you in school, what that means. Then you will come across all the times tables. And after each times table, you will be confronted with a test. And I will show you an example of what a test will be like. So we can either go to the introduction by pressing the forward button, or if we go back, we can either go to the introduction by clicking on introduction. So as soon as you click on any one of those links, or any one of those titles, you'll be confronted with the same title, the same heading, and usually you'll have a speaker icon, 
This icon will annotate everything that is written on the page. Everything that you can see written on the page, the speaker icon will annotate. And also, just at the bottom of the page, you will see a home icon. If you click on this, it will go back to the contents page. So that home icon here, that will be seen on every single page because then in case you want to go back to the contents page, you can just click on home and it will go back to the contents page, which is our home page. Okay, so going back to the speaker icon, if you didn't want to read and you just wanted to listen, you can just click on the speaker. So instead of reading what's on the page, I will click the speaker icon and I will let it read what's on the page and then we will continue. Okay, so here we go. This book is for anyone who is struggling with their times tables or anyone who would like to learn a different yet creative way to reproduce them. As the title suggests, the methods and steps involved are not normally taught in schools as they are not so common. However, as long as you can competently read, write and add simple numbers, then you can reproduce any times table from 1 to 100, guaranteed. Each method described should only take a minute to replicate and so you can learn all the times tables just by spending a minute a day on each one. Traditionally, the following table is used to help people learn the times tables but in this book you'll find more creative and easier ways to recall and reproduce them. Click on the icon below. As a base for all the times tables we'll be studying, we will commonly be making use of either the one times table or the two times table. And if you did want to read and you didn't want to listen, you can just click on the speaker icon again and then it will stop all the audio from that moment and you can just continue without having to listen to anything. Okay, so let's go on to the next page. So we'll click next page and you will come across the one times table and the two times table. Again, we can listen to the speaker icon here or not. That's completely up to you. So when the speaker icon is black, that means if we click on it, we can listen to it to what's on the page. And when there's a line going through it, that's an indication that we don't want to listen anymore. And so that's the button that we press if we don't want to listen to anything anymore. As we can see, any number multiplied by one is just the number itself. Also, the order in which numbers are multiplied doesn't matter as 1 times 2 is the same as 2 times 1. So this is the 1 times table and you can see there's a hand pointing to the yellow box which is clickable again and if we click on that we will come with the following result. 0 times 1 equals 0, 1 times 1 equals 1, 2 times 1 equals 2, 3 times 1 equals 3, 4 times 1 equals 4, 5 times 1 equals 5, 6 times 1 equals 6, 7 times 1 equals 7, 8 times 1 equals 8, 9 times 1 equals 9, 10 times 1 equals 10, 11 times 1 equals 11, and 12 times 1 equals 12. Notice how 0 multiplied by any number is always 0. This works for every times table. The 1 times table is also known as the set of natural numbers. And as you can see, the new speaker icon becomes available for the 2 times table and the following arrow points to there. So let's take a look at the two times table. The two times table is just twice or double the one times table. We can do this by adding the one times table to itself. So let's click on the yellow box. The one times table added to itself gives us the following. Zero times two equals zero, one times two equals two, two times two equals four, three times two equals six, four times two equals eight, 5 times 2 equals 10, 6 times 2 equals 12, 7 times 2 equals 14, 8 times 2 equals 16, 9 times 2 equals 18, 10 times 2 equals 20, 11 times 2 equals 22, and 12 times 2 equals 24. The 2 times table is also known as the set of even numbers. Okay, so that's the 1 times table and the 2 times table. And once you've learned this, you can test how well you know this by going to the test. And if we go on to the next page, so click next page, you will see the test. So you will be confronted with this. So it will ask you questions on which you have a multiple choice selection. If you get the answer right, you will come across this. And when you want to go to the next question, you click on next. And then you'll come across another question. If you get the answer wrong, you'll come across this. So it says try again. So you can keep guessing until you get it right. So 
but we know it's 14. Now the good thing about this is when you go next you come across a new question but when you go previous or back you will see that the answers have been recorded and they stay there in case you forgot them you can remember them by looking at what you did previously. So we can continue. So 4 times 2 is 8. Go on to the next one. 9 times 2 is 18. What's 12 times 2? Say, what if we guessed it wrong and we guessed 28? <coughs> Try again. 12 times 2 is 24. Yes, it is. Okay. So we can continue in this way until we cover all the questions. So there are 12 questions in each test. And as we go back again, we got all of them correct. All the ones that we got correct are, have been recorded. Okay, so let's go on to the next page. So this section I entitled what they don't teach you in school. So let's have a listen. The following methods I have chosen and named to be some of the simplest and easiest to get the required times tables. They are not the only way to achieve the desired results, but have proven to be some of the quickest as each method only takes a minute, if not less, to use. With regular repetition and practice, even by spending a minute a day on each one, you will be able to reproduce each times table with swiftness and ease. Just click on each of the steps by following the prompts until you get to the end, after which you will find a test based on what you have learned. So grab a pen or pencil and a piece of paper and follow into the light bulb on his journey to see just how easy times tables can be. So if we go on next, we'll come across the three times table. And as you can see, we've got a pointer pointing to the step. Now with each times table, you will come across steps, which you click on and it will give you instructions on how to do them. Once you come to the end of the steps, it will say all the times table from zero to 10, sometimes from zero to 12, but the ones from zero to 10 will tell you how to get the 11 and 12 parts to it. So this was just a sneak peek. And as you can see, once you've done the three times table, you will get the test for the three times table. And once you've done the test for the three times table, that was six, that was 21. So we got it wrong, say it was 10, <coughs> try again. So all the tests are exactly the same in, in the same manner. Obviously the questions will be different, but the manner is the same. The format is the same and the structure. And every chapter ends with a test. You can go on to the four times table. As you can see, there's different steps. Every chapter ends with a test, except for the final chapter where we go beyond 13, where we explore the 13 times table and beyond. There's not a test for that, but you can test yourself if you wanted to. Okay, so that was a sneak peek into the ebook, just going back home. And I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek. If you want the full version of this book, then go to payhip.com forward slash B forward slash KV capital Q Q KV Q Q. I'll leave the link in the description box below. You can check out the video that's there as well. And I'm doing a special offer on it as well. If you recommend it to other people or friends and family, then not only will you get a discount, but they will get a discount as well. So like I said before, the best thing about this is you don't need the internet for it to work. Once you've got it downloaded onto your device, you can take it anywhere with you. Okay, so check it out. Do check it out and let me know how well you got on. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment. Do share with anyone that you feel this may benefit. And do subscribe for all the latest tips and tricks that I'll be coming out with to do with maths. And I also will be doing more art and music videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.